What's going on, everybody? I am Mick Manhattan, the scene snob. I'm here to talk to you about Kimball's Cookies. They've been our sponsor since the beginning, and we truly love them. They make custom cookies for every special occasion or holiday that you can think of. So order today, and you can order in sugar cookie, you can order chocolate. They have gluten-free options. They take care of you, and they're designed with love. I can tell you that for a fact. So check out Kimball's Cookies on Facebook, and when you order, use promo code SNOBS, and they'll give you 10% off your order. Thanks. What's up, everybody? It's the Scene Snob. I'm Mick Manhattan, and I'm here to talk to you guys about our awesome sponsor, Manscaped. They are the premier tool for your grooming downstairs. Summer's coming. Are you ready to unveil your beach pod? You're in luck. Our friends at Manscaped just launched their fourth generation performance package, which includes the Lawnmower 4.0. You heard that right, the 4.0 is here. Compliment your summer bod with a trim from the leaders in male grooming. The sun is shining. Call your name, guys. Join the 2 million men who trust Manscaped worldwide, including myself and all of the hosts here, and get ready for Hot Guy Summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the code SNOBS, S-N-O-B-S, and they'll get 20% off of free shipping. So go check out Manscaped now. They have amazing stuff like the 4.0, the Weed Whacker, the Crop Shaver, and all of their deodorizers and everything else are truly, truly amazing. I wear their underwear. I think it's just fantastic. But don't, don't take my word for it. Go check them out yourselves because they have plenty of stuff for everybody. So go to manscaped.com and tell them the scene snob sent you by using promo code SNOBS, and I'll talk to you guys later. Welcome to the Teen Snob Podcast. I'm I'm Teen Snob Junior. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This should be great. So we have special guest Vernon Wells here in costume. Vernon Wells, ladies and gentlemen, this is awesome. I love it. Specialist. He's <laughs> so we've decided since you're in costume, we're only going to ask you questions about the movie Commando. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> yep. I've worked this in Commando. Oh, well, absolutely. Yeah. I remember that. You lost, I don't know what I thought I did. <laughs> uh, what the fuck did you get in from? Well, I mean, you had a fantastic mesh shirt. Okay, I recall. Okay. 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 Yeah. You did. Yeah, all you needed. Tell me what's there, you know, it was pretty badly made. It was like, Took some tweak to swallow a pipe at being a rat kid. I mean, it will happen. happen. Yeah, it didn't really, didn't really prevent that. Yeah. No, uh, wearing a mesh shirt, you know, yeah. motherfucker. Uh, no. It was not the chainmail everybody thought it would be. Right? right? That's right. It's actually very funny because people keep saying to me, man, you must have been strong then because you're wearing all this chainmail. And I'm like, it was weird. Just to fuck up your whole theory. <laughs> like, what? You're, and apparently, because um, I never knew where it all came from. And uh, this um, English guy, because I have a club in England called the... For me. And uh, about a year they have this get-together and it's like tall one, short one, fat one, skinny one. It's like, oh dear, the guy. It's the Bennett Society. And I was talking to one of them and I said, I, one day I should get one of those um, gifts, but I have no clue where to get them. And he said, oh, we could get them for you. They're, um, they're called Stoker's Vest. And apparently what they were is in the um, First Second World War, the uh, British um, ships, they had Stoker's, because they were stoking the coal into the, in the front. And they had these Marino wool vests on because when they sweat, the sweat goes into the wool, and if sparks come out when they're when they're shoveling the polling, they don't burn them. They go out they're, they're straight away, basically, and it keeps them cool. And uh, what they did is they got a stoker vest. They painted it silver. It looked like it was chain mail. That's awesome. I didn't give a shit. I was happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're comfortable. That was a morning I became the bloody grown man. Yeah, so that was the bad thing. Oh, no, you can say it anytime you get us, but uh, you yeah. do want to ask, uh, you know, being such an iconic character from an iconic movie, like the Road Warrior, especially, mm -hmm. and then sort of reprising it a bit in another iconic movie in Weird Science. Yeah. Um, so, 
going through and having a good week, and you come to the convention dressed in character, it, this is so near and dear to your heart. This is actually the first time I've won the past year in 40 years. Wow. Um, my mother had it at her house in Australia on a mannequin, and George gave me the costume, and I always thought he'd given me the, um, they had two costumes, you know, a spare in case. And uh, they were both in separate boxes, and there was a flood where my parents were, and they were stored out in the shed. And there was a flood, and the bottom box got totally wrecked, and the costume inside it just got drenched, and, and this stuff, if it gets water on, if you don't get it off straight away, it gets moldy. And it went moldy before they found it, and they went, oh, we've got to throw it out. So they got rid of it. And I thought it was the real one. And I thought, oh, well, the only one left is the, uh, you know, the one that was a spare I've never worn. And um, my mother had it on a mannequin in a, in a bow room, bow room. Um, And I used to say, well, you know what, I'm going to take that one day and sell it for a lot of money. And, and the whole thing was over my dead body, which came to pass. Uh, after my mother passed away, my brother said, let the fucking thing back, because I'm sick of it in the, in the house. I mean, yeah, but it, so he packaged it up and sent it to me. And that was three years ago. And it arrived, and I went, oh, nice. And I put it in my storage room. And it sat there, and I'd never opened it until a week ago. That's awesome. And I, and I was like, do I have to? <laughs> so I kind of went through this whole thing and, and finally I'm like, I better try it. I'm like, I was like, no, I'm not even going to kiss. It's going to be stupid. I'm going to have to have it on my arm or something. And um, I went through and took everything out, tried it on, and basically everything. Um, I think that the, the ch arseless chaps are about an inch too short for me now, so I'll get them work on so I can wear that too. But I had the whole, and then I realized that it was when I took it out, I went, oh fuck, this is a real costume. So the, the, the one that got ruined was actually the spare they had. I actually got the real, this is the real one I wore in the film. The only thing missing is the, um, uh, crossbow on my hand, which somebody took on set, or is that something? We don't know. We, it, it could have been before the costume came to my mother. Maybe George decided that having something like that floating around was, was kind of dangerous because it really worked. I mean, if you stood in front of me and I pulled the trigger, you'd be going, uh, I, Excuse me, I've got to go to the doctor, but I'll get it and take it out of my chest. Um, so I yeah, think you know, that sounds like something fun we would do. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I should have brought it to America, man. <laughs> so I think that maybe that was what happened with that side of it. Um, but you know, it, it's kind of neither here nor there. I've got everything else, so I'm kind of a happy dude that it fits. And this is the first time I've worn it in since George Miller said to me, "We're finished. Go home." That's amazing. How does it feel being back in one last hour? You really don't want to know. There are not enough excuses to cover what I feel. Well, in this case, I really appreciate your time very much. It was just this whole rush of memories came back and I went, <laughs> Before you go, though, uh, we do have a movie that premiered last night. Yes. So, okay, go Google. 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 Just tell us real quick about it so everybody at home could hear about it. Uh, we had a movie that premiered last night called Joe Google. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> so, you um, We actually covered a very, very good film. It's really fun. Um, it's kind of uh, scary and fun and all that stuff. And, um, and it's just virtually quickly without doing the whole thing away. It turns the theory of killer clowns upside down. Um, and it's it's just fun to watch. And if you get a chance to really watch it, we really enjoyed it and had a really good night. And they've got a, um, a thing that goes with them uh, behind the big top, which is basically each day of the production, they play a film and stuff behind the scenes, and they cut it into a documentary. And so you see the progression of how we all came apart at the scenes. Um, it's fun. 
well, little scary, you know, we're kind of weird people. We can't wait to see it because we heard so much about it's, it. It's, it's, it's done. It's one of, the, one of my better movies. Shall I say that I'm not sure? I'll just wait for the other people to tell me how good it is. I believe they're having a question and answer today. Oh, so I was thinking, I'm going to leave the costume. I'm just to piss them all off and have the question and answer in my dad's country. Yeah, really? Yes, it's perfect. I love it. Scream about gasoline. It's wonderful. Yeah, anything you want, I can talk about it. Thank you so much for stopping by. I know. Oh, before we go, uh, we were talking about uh, weird science and um, the, the costume and, and uh, do, doing that film, which is the other side of Mad Max, the, the fun side. Um, a friend of mine um, had put me into a film he was making, and he was talking to the investors, you know, probably early 20-something, you know, 30 something on these millennial trips. And he was sort of giving me the run and I said, oh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, great, great, great. So who's in it? And he said, well, we've got so and so, so and so. Now, one of our, our leads is Ben Wells. And I went, who's he? And he, he just stood there. And he went, um, he went, uh, Magoria, Mondo, and a guy at the other end of the table went, He's fucking science! Oh my god! <laughs> and, and Brian Mook, how have you done? After everything you've done, the only thing I could come up with was real science. <laughs> but he loved it, he thought it was so funny. They, no, 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 we t- oh, we love weird science. I know for us, we're big command, well, I mean, we're big fans of World War, everything, but uh, Commando was always quoted. I don't know why it's that movie. Like we're always, he'll throw something at me and just be like, to blow off some steam and like, you know, we just always play. Like, yeah, I don't need a gun. No, I don't need a gun. I don't need a gun. I mean, I've always. It's hey, hey, go me up, Chief. Yeah, I think you're getting ready. You got your panel going. We want to thank you so much for coming. It's really amazing. Thank you again. You are the best. Truly the best. Thank you. And that's our show, everybody. Thanks for listening or watching wherever you're checking it out. Uh, This show is brought to you by our sponsor, Manscaped. Uh, Go check them out. They are saving our balls and they can save yours too. Or somebody you care about. Uh, That's a pretty awesome device. So go check out what they got. The Lawnmower 3.0, the Weed Whacker, and more. Uh, It's a great gift for... Father's Day, birthdays, weddings, anything. Uh, So, yeah, head over there and use promo code SNOBS, S-N-O-B-S, and you'll get 20% off and free shipping. Also, we'd like to thank our super fan patrons. Uh, They are all Scene Snob family to us. Uh, They support us every month, and you can be one too. So head over to the Patreon channel, uh, the Scene Snobs, and uh, you can, it's $5 a month, and you can join in with helping support us and get the free perks too. Uh, also, you can follow us on social media. We are on everything at the Scene Snob. So Instagram, Twitter, uh, TikTok. Uh, we are on Facebook, the Scene Snobs. Uh, everywhere. We have fun stuff always going on. Always have contests and stuff. So go follow us. Check us out. You can go to our link tree by going to thescenesnobs.com. There's our link tree. There's our patron. Uh, there is our all of our shows and the links for all of that. So thanks again for checking it out. Just head over to thescenesnobs.com where everything is, and we will talk to you soon.